Welcome back to News 46. Access Realty had a ribbon cutting yesterday with Strickland Construction and the Prump Valley Chamber of Commerce. Good morning and welcome everyone. We're excited to be here today to welcome back Deborah and Larry Strickland with Strickland Construction and also Kim Washington for Access Realty. Um, we're here today at 2301 Winery Road. Come by and see them if you have any construction needs or real estate needs. Um, they'll be happy to help you out. Uh, please go ahead and cut the ribbon this time. Here, Kim. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Come on, Come on ready? Come on, ready? Forces with Strickland Construction, expanding our office, uh, welcoming uh, Deborah Strickland on as property manager. And so we figured it's time to open the doors up, throw some food on, and have a little fun. You guys have been here for quite a while at this location. I hear Strickland has uh, returned to this location. Uh, correct. We've been here for about 10 years at this location. <laughs> about 8 to 10 years at this location. Uh, and now Deborah's joining us. So. Um, do you offer all sorts of real estate and property management as well? Uh, correct. We do uh, residential, land sales, uh, purchases, commercial as well, and property management for renters, owners, as well as uh, tenants. Can you tell me some more details about property management? Uh, the property management, we host about 400, uh, give or take 20 at any time, uh, units, rentals, and manage for the owners and get tenants the houses they need. So if you're looking for a place to rent, you could stop by this location and see what you guys have. Anyone can stop by at any time. We're also available online at uh, PrumpAccessRealty.com. Uh, our website's updated daily with our available properties as well as information for owners and tenants. All right, and right here on the boulevard, right near uh, Homestead and Highway 160, what's the address here? Uh, we're at 2301 Winery. Uh, suite 101 and now 102. There you go. And what's the hours of operation for you guys? We're open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3, Saturday and Sunday. And for more information, a number to call? You can call us at 775-727-2332. If you're looking for someone to cuddle with this Valentine's Day, we might have your perfect match in this week's Save a Pet segment. Hi, I'm Jennifer Moots down here at Symphony Animal Foundation. Today I am joined with Charlie. Charlie is a Jack Russell Terrier. He is four years old. He is neutered and he can be all yours for $85. He is a little active, so he needs a nice active family. Come on down to Symphony Animal Foundation at 2501 Wheeler Pass. You can contact them at 775-990-6578 or you can find them online at symphonyanimalfoundation.org. And here's the latest with your weekend sports. Weekend sports is brought to you by Jason Ernest at Mountain West Lawyers. Super Bowl wasn't long ago and the 39-year-old Denver Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning is still uneasy as he tries to decide whether to retire after 200 wins during his career. Manning is the oldest quarterback to start in the Super Bowl and more importantly, the oldest to win one. Right now, Manning is claiming that he wants to focus on his two children and wife while things calm down after Super Bowl, Super Bowl 50. Former professional basketball player Lamar Odom made a public return Thursday at his brother-in-law Kanye West's New York Fashion Week show on Thursday. Odom's appearance marked his first time in a public event since he was hospitalized in critical condition in Las Vegas in October 2015 after he was found unconscious after visiting the Love Ranch. New York Mets pitcher Henry Meha has received a lifetime ban from Major League Baseball after testing positive for performance enhancing drugs for the third time. After glimpses of success, Meha became a key member of the Major League Club in 2014. With his failed test, Meha joins Pete Rose as the only living players to be banned by MLB. Meha is the first player to receive a lifetime ban for performance enhancing drug use. This has been your Week in Sports. I'm Jennifer Moots for News 46. We'll return with your weather and weekend announcements.